Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Women's World. Today, we have with us actress Mahar al We're going to be hosting her, uh, her here in the studio, but first, we're going to take a look at the press. Stay with us. Starting off with the local scene and a uh, headline that reads, Women in Power Confirms Diminish Corruption. The Delta Women's Leadership Forum, affiliated to the International Justice Center for Human Rights in Garbea Governorate, called on the political parties and the society to encourage women's participation in the political life, especially in the upcoming parliamentary elections. During the forum's meeting, the participants underlined that corruption would diminish if women became more present in the upcoming parliament as well as in political posts. They also called for activating anti-corruption laws. And the head of Egypt's feminist union says we will accept no less than 100 women in the upcoming parliament. Dr. Huda Badron, the chairperson of Egypt's feminist union, stressed that the union will accept no less than 100 women in the upcoming parliament and no less than 10 women in the next government. She pointed out that those numbers are adequate to uh, the percentage of women in the Egyptian society as well as their efficiency and capabilities. Her statements came during a meeting held by the union with 240 NGOs to support women in the upcoming parliament. And uh, to Iraq, and we read Iraq to host the meetings of the Arab Women Organization by the end of 2015. Iraqi Minister of Women's Affairs, Bayan Nouri Tawfiq, announced that uh, her country would host the meetings of the Executive Council of Arab Women Organization, which concluded its meetings recently in Cairo. She said that the meeting would be held by the end of 2015, adding that all the necessary preparations would be made for this event. The meeting's agenda covers a special report on the organization's development. And finally to India, where special police units to investigate crimes against women in India. The Indian government said that uh, the Interior Ministry has proposed forming 150 special police units to investigate crimes uh, against women across the country in order to achieve justice for the victims. The special units would be deployed across India's 29 governorates to carry out investigations with the aim of enhancing justice in crimes that involve violence against women such as rape and domestic violence. Now we're going to be having here with us actress Mayara Biblewi right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Barahab Biki Mayor.
انت حل ولا عيب ولا ايه اللي شايفه ده مش هقدر عليه انت حل ولا عيب ولا ايه اللي شايفه ده مش هقدر عليه يوصفوا لي الناس ومهما يوصفوا لي كل ده غير اللي عيني توريهوا لي يوصفوا Just graduated from the Faculty of Arts of in Beirut, studied fashion and you started in commercials and then you acted in cinema, television and on theatre and you played a lot of roles in television, in TV series and drama and then uh, you left uh, this field and afterwards you came back uh, to be an anchor of uh, religious programs. Would you talk to me please about your career since you have graduated up till now? First of all, I would like uh, to express my thanks uh, to he who developed uh, this uh, profile for me. I enjoyed it very much. Thank secondly, as for my artistic career, you were uh, to sum up in the intro you made and it is there on the internet a lot of people follow it up but I am so proud that in my history I had put on my head scars uh, this was one of the most important decisions I made in my life uh, to put to the head scars because I took it at a time when I started to be known by people and I've received a lot of offers to act uh, uh, so it was an important decision for me to make back then and afterwards I was able to make a career shift as you said at the beginning I used to make in commercials I was a young girl so I went I made the, the decision of uh, putting my head scarf on the difficult decision yes Allah supported me and I didn't know after taking my decision how would I be able to go on with my life because there are a lot of changes that would happen in my life so I had to decide what I would do next so I started thinking of being an anchor and presenter of religious programs and I received training courses and studies in the high institute for Islamic studies and I've received the there's a degree in uh, com comparative uh, jurisprudence and I'm going uh, to uh, prepare my PhD thesis and right now uh, I'm trying uh, to be uh, to have an impact as uh, an actress with a headscarf on yes but we have seen a lot of actresses who had uh, their headscarves in uh, films and TV series so why didn't you make this decision to go back to the drama with your headscarf on this has already happened my uh, drama uh, works are a lot now every year I make one of the TV series yet uh, during the past all of uh, my drama works and TV series used to be the historical and the religious TV series and they are not watched by a lot of people and um, this is unfortunate because we are Muslims we have uh, a civilization uh, that uh, is so important so we should watch these uh, TV series I've made the uh, Imam Nisei, Imam Shafi'i TV series but unfortunately not a lot of people watch them I made also Abdel Halim Mahmoud so every year to act in a TV series afterwards they stop the, these religious TV series uh, during the holy month of Ramadan so I had as an actress to work in other works so I started acting as you said with my head part in a lot of other TV series so the first uh, TV series I made afterwards was Banat Sha'iya Naughty Girls and it was a compound where there were only girls so it told the stories of girls afterwards I made another TV series Zabit Wazabit 
uh, police officer and another one and we have uh, with us Ms. Afaf Shouhoub, Tariq Lutfi, uh, along with other actors and actresses and this should be shown on the 25th of January, the anniversary of uh, the police day and I have another uh, TV series uh, next week, it's called Awraq al and it is uh, written for Majid Labid and uh, directed by uh, Dr. Hani Ismail and uh, Sabrine is the actress and it is uh, shot in uh, Egypt and India and there is another TV series Sadu Akhwati and I played the, this TV series in Kuwait and this is the first time for me to play a role in a Kuwaiti TV series. I've played a lot of uh, roles in uh, Saudi TV series and uh, I'm able to speak their dialects. So afterwards they started here in Egypt to make uh, uh, TV series similar to them. As for the Kuwaiti TV series Saad Akhwatu, I played the, the role of a villain and I was so glad to play a role in uh, the Kuwaiti drama. So you asked me why didn't you play a role? L I played such roles with my veil on and for nine years I've been presenting the religious programs and uh, now I'm presenting religious social programs because I cannot leave uh, the religious 